generate bursts from the most luminous electromagnetic events occurring in the universe since the Big Bang. They are flashes of gamma rays emitting from the seemingly random places in deep space at random times. The duration of a gamma ray burst is typically a few seconds, but can range from a few milliseconds to several minutes. And the initial burst is usually followed by a longer living afterglow, emitting in longer wavelengths, X-ray, ultraviolet, optical, infrared, and radio. Gamma ray bursts are detected by orbiting satellites about two to three times per week, but the number of gamma ray bursts that could be observed from Earth is about three times this amount and is currently limited by the efficiency of the instrument. Most gamma ray bursts appear to be culminating emissions caused by the collapse of the core of a rapidly rotating high-mass star into a black hole. A subclass of gamma ray bursts, the short bursts, appear to originate from a different process, the leading candidate of this process being the collision of neutron stars orbiting in a binary system. Basically, the two stars collide. All of gamma ray bursts originate from outside of so we're pretty safe. Though a related class of phenomena, the SGR flares, are associated with galactic magnetons. The sources of gamma ray bursts are billions of light years away, so once again, we're pretty safe. A nearby gamma ray burst could possibly cause mass extinctions on Earth, though the short duration of a gamma ray burst would limit the immediate damage to life. A nearby burst might alter atmospheric chemistry by reducing the ozone layer and generating acidic nitrogen oxides. The atmosphere could ultimately cause severe damage to the biosphere and thus us, killing us all, actually, in a horrible rain of rust and fall upon our lungs and cement us into a time of cold death. <laughs>